Happy Friday, STM. Today, we celebrate another day dedicated to Mary. It is, also, it is the title of Our Lady of Loretto, which refers to the Holy House of Loretto, the house in which Mary was born and where the Annunciation occurred. It is also where the ancient statue of Our Lady is found. Stories say that a band of angels scooped up the little house from the Holy Land and transported it eventually to Loretto, Italy, where it has been for centuries. It was this flight that led to her patronage of people involved in aviation, and it, it is the long life that the house had, that had, sorry, um, it is the long life of the house that has led her to patronage of builders, construction worker, workers, and those who are buying houses. It is also the first shrine of international renown dedicated to the Blessed Virgin. It has, it has been known as the Marian Center for centuries. Popes have always held the shrine of Loretto in special esteem and is under their direct authority and protection. Now through the intercession of Our Lady of Loretto, let us pray for those in the aviation industry, all who need to take flight to visit family during Christmas, for dedicated construction workers, and for those who are looking to purchase housing. Let us put ourselves in the most holy presence of the Lord, and in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mary, for the sake of your blessed house, which we the angels moved to the pleasant hills of Loretto, turn your benevolent eyes towards us, and hear our prayer as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Loretto, pray for us. St. Thomas More, pray for us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, good morning, St. Thomas More. I do want to apologize. Announcements are going to be a bit long today, so if you're in the hallway, make your way to the classroom so you can pick up when you get there. Uh, first of all, I just want to read this very heartening um, story that which was in The Spectator the other day, and, and I'll quote it exactly. Recently, my husband and I were at lunch at Wendy's on Main West when I happened to spill my root beer all over the table. Two young, teenager, two young teenage boys dashed over with paper towels to help clean up. So I presumed that they were employees, but as it turned out, they were students at St. Thomas More High School having their lunch. Eventually, the young ladies they were with also came over to help. My husband remarked what a wonderful ambassadors they are for the school. Their parents, the school staff, should be very proud. And of course, we are very proud. And uh, as a principal, I was extremely proud. I got a note from the chairperson for the board. I got a note from a former principal who highlighted me, Mrs. Cannon, highlighted to me that this story even happened. And so we were very proud. I even got a shout out at the general principal's meeting. There's only one problem. I reread it a couple times as I was bathing in the glory of the good deeds. And I'm like, why would St. Thomas More students be at the Wendy's on Main West? Hang on. The Mendes, Wendy's on Main West is right beside my old school, St. Mary's. These are probably St. Mary's students. So I, I sent a text to the principal at St. Mary's and I said, thank you. Thank those two students for giving us the good press. And as it turned out, the spectator called them last night and said they're going to do a reprint because they had the school incorrect. So back to the drawing board, St. Thomas More. We didn't quite, but we, we got the good press, but it didn't quite happen. However, as I joke with the back to the drawing board, I know that today is the Christmas Miracle Day, and so generosity and good deeds are coursing our hallways today. So I really want to thank everybody who's making that happen, uh, everybody who gives of their time and energy. You are all great, great ambassadors to our school and our school board and Catholic education in general. And just uh, want to say a couple more things. You know, Christmas is a season where we celebrate the birth of Jesus, so what better way than to love your neighbor. And I just want to say that I know that not everybody is, is able to, because of their financial situation, to give. And that's perfectly fine. So I just want to say that kindness is free and everybody can be kind. And over the Christmas holidays, over the next week, over the weekend, during the Christmas season, do something kind for someone in your community. Shovel a sidewalk, help with this campaign, do whatever. Um, now, I noticed that today is, um, ugly sweater day. I saw a very ugly one right behind the camera here. There's a Super Mario uh, knitted cardigan. I don't, I don't know who's wearing it. It's, it's terrible. Um, but 
I'm always very um, supportive of these types of things, but at the same time, they scare me. And they scare me especially on Fridays. So I'm asking the student body and the staff to be very mindful that days like this, these unstructured uniform days, are days where people come from outside who have a, gr have a grievance that they would go on to settle. So if anybody notices people from outside of school, from any other school looking for problem, please notify the administration right away. Because this is a great celebration of the Christmas miracle and I love the red and yellow, or the red and green all over the hallways, but it, it does scare me as the principal. So if we can be extra vigilant today, for many reasons, uh, would be appreciated. And Mrs. Calabrese is gonna talk about locks, so sh I'll turn it over to her. Good morning, staff and students. Today is locker assignment day. So there's a lot of moving parts to this. Please pay very close attention. And especially at the end of this announcement, pay attention to the video. It's been a while since some of you who already did use lockers before the pandemic that have locks may have forgotten how to access your locks. Uh, but also for the nines and tens that have never used a lock before, we have a video to show you. In addition, we're going to have our prefects over the next few days wearing yellow shirts. So if you're struggling with your locker access and whatever the situation is, nines and tens, please reach out to these prefects. They're there to help you. So grade 11s and 12s, a reminder from yesterday, you may put your locks and your items in your lockers on lunch or your afternoon break today. Same thing with any issues you may have with your locks and lockers. Make sure that you come on your lunch or afternoon break. This morning, we are working on the distribution of locks to grade nine students. Please wait in your classes. We're calling you down class by class with your teachers. So teachers, we're going to ask you to accompany your class when we page into you and ask you to bring the students down to the lecture hall. The classes will line up just outside the lecture hall in front of the main office. You'll enter for the lecture hall from there, see one of our clericals to get your lock and to remind you of your locker partner. And you will exit the other side where you'll meet your teacher and the rest of your class. You wait outside the other side with your teacher until the whole class is complete. Then your whole class will go back. That's the process that you're going to take. It is not the time for you to go to your locker at that point. You must wait until your lunch to make sure that we can get the lock, locks all assigned and handed out to all grade nine students. Um, you're going to meet your locker partner at your locker on your lunch. So we will also tell you who your locker partner is on our notification that we had from your spring selections when you come in through the lecture hall. So all of that will be taken care of and any questions you may have, we'll field them there. A reminder, the grade 10 lock distribution will be Monday. So don't worry about not having your lock or access to your locker today. You will get it on Monday. That will be our last day of lock distribution. Finally, any issues with your lockers or your locks, or if you find something that is confusing, please come to attendance or the main office on your lunch or your afternoon break, not this morning. We will do our best to, to help everyone get through this and get through to their locker. And we're gonna talk a little bit about ongoing use of locker, that you'll be getting access to it for the first 10 minutes between eight o'clock and 8.10 before you go to class. That's when you'll be dropping off your items. But we'll get into that next week. Right now, let's get through locker distribution and make sure that you take a look and pay very close attention to the video that's gonna follow right after this announcement. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. To open up your combination lock, you will first need to know the code. For this lock, the numbers are 24, 30, and 4. First, turn your dial three times to the right. 1, 2, 3. Then keep turning it right until you get to your first number, which is 24 in this case. Then turn the dial one full turn to the left and pass up your first number. Once you've passed it up, stop on your second number, which in this case is 30. Then turn your dial to the right and go straight to your last number. In this case, it's four. Once you've done that, you're ready to open up your lock. 
Hi, STM. I'm Celine, and I'm one of your prefects from the Jesus Fabrics of Faith Ministry. I'm here to inform you about the events that will transpire on Thursday, December 16th, and what you must do to work with God to help the local homeless. We will be collecting donations on December 16th, which can be dropped off at the cafeteria right before announcements. We need gently used and washed winter clothing that has been sorted from men's and women's bags. Other items that may help the cold nights be more bearable for our neighbors are sleeping bags and blankets. While we collect your donations, we hope you can fill in one of the provided prayer cards that will be delivered to the homeless, which will give them the motivation and the hope from God's love. Furthermore, we are accepting any prayer requests which can be prayed for with our grateful brothers and sisters. Please donate if possible, since it is the season of Christmas and giving. Let's live like God by giving like God, STM. We're all born free and equal. Don't discriminate. These are your human rights. There are 30 of them. They belong to you. You don't have to buy them, or apply for them, or ask permission to have them. They're just yours. No matter who you are, where you're from, how old you are, or anything else. It's just that simple. Now some people may try to ignore your rights, or violate them, or pretend they don't exist. But they can't change the fact that they're yours. Human right number 30, no one can take away your human rights. What are human rights? Find out at youthforhumanrights.org. Morning, STM. My name is Imani, and I'm here for your activities. Members of the boys' hockey team are reminded of their game next Monday at 2.30 at Valley Park Arena versus BR. Schedules can be picked up outside of room 330. And now for your sports. Congratulations to the junior girls volleyball team for winning straight sets in last night's game against BR. Awesome serving by Audrey and fantastic hits by Sophie kept the game exciting. Way to go team. Last night, your junior boys basketball team won their second game of the season 50 to 32 against Bishop Ryan. Noah McNeese led the way with 11 points. Curtis Bell and Arvin Batsinda both chipped in with seven points each. It was a total defensive effort by everyone, coming up with many steals. Practice Monday at four o'clock, go Knights. In our second game of the season, our senior girls volleyball Knights sailed to their victory over BR in two straight sets with scores of 25 to four and 25 to 16. We look to extend our winning streak next Tuesday at SJB. Thanks, STN. Hey, STM. I'm Fatima. I'm Kyla. And I'm Yusra. And we're from your Christmas Miracle Executive Committee. committee. Today is the day, STM. Our Christmas Miracle Committee is ready to receive your sponsorship items. After announcements, we will begin with the Christmas Kahoot competition. Mrs. Sarenko will email staff the games and immediately following announcements. The winning class will win a fun prize. After the Kahoot, please listen to announcements to hear when your class can head to room 151 to drop off your sponsored gift. Please remember to include your $40 gift card, hats and mitts, ornament tag, and fundraising tip. If your class was not able to sponsor a child this year, please still return your fundraising tip to room 151 when your floor is called. We can't, to see, we can't wait to see you in your red or green tops and sweaters for today's Spirit Day. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for your generosity and Christmas spirit, STM. Merry Christmas! Hi again, STM. I'm Giselle from your student council here with a quick reminder that our door decorating contest ends Tuesday, December 14th. All picture submissions must be submitted to our Instagram by Wednesday morning of December 15th. Good luck to all those entering. And another quick reminder that new spirit wear as well as vintage spirit wear are still available for purchase on School Cash Online. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Thanks, STM. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.27. Have a great day.